Greetings, my fellow Ice Sheet Wendigo, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Biotech, the first Wendigo, episode 78, Down with the Sickness. Rosie, you have a lot of work to do, Rose. There's a lot of filth everywhere. So that batch of components is really nice, because we had a lot more stuff that we added that required components, like this uh, mech booster. But now that with a mech booster, Natsu should be able to keep up with the food demands. Uh, it also might be a good idea for us to get another fabric core, but that would be another voted goal. So, if we end up doing that, um, it needs to get voted on. But here, you can see the mech boosted, uh, the mech boosted uh, fabric core is now working at 100% or 150% speed, which is going to be a lot nicer for uh, getting food produced. Yeah, Frosty's starving again. Hey, Steph, it's your turn. How does the bait beacon trick work for manipulating drop pod raiders? Um, I have a... If you take a look at Discord, because I know you're on Discord... Or I could just link it to you. Um, there is a... Mr. Chimic made a spreadsheet or a, uh, a workflow diagram for it. So that's the link. The TLDR is the oldest installed beacon in your colony. Um, needs to be unroofed and have one free spot next to it. And then pod drop raiders will drop there. So this, this orbital beacon was installed first. And then after that was installed, I installed this one and this one. So it has to be the oldest installed beacon. Um, and then it has to have a free spot next to it and also be unroofed. And that's pretty much all you need to know. It's a little bit more nu nuanced than that. The full details, but that covers most of the mechanics. Um, and it works wonderfully. To bait pod drop raiders away from critical infrastructure. And people and everything else. 1010 will always build again. Okay, Lo, you are an adult. Uh, you were 13. Come on, good trait. So, Lo, you gained. So, you're great memory and slothful, which is fine. Pessimist. Oh, okay, cool. You're just a bummer. Uh, I can give you the happy gene. Do I have them, though? I don't think I do. No, I don't have any happy genes. So Lo was born a brawler. Strong immunity, cold tolerant, melee damage, robust, and reduced pain. Um, so we'll have to... I'll, I'll have you guys vote on what to do with Lo. There's the choices. And we are almost done with this crypto casket. And then that means Guero can come back north. So Frosty. Did we make the Frosty Xenogerm? Yeah, we did. Here it is. Order implantation into Frosty. Package survival mills are done. I will go for... Smoke pop packs. I feel like these offals did not add up. That's fine. So, pretty good brawler now. Great melee, super fast wound healing, with dark vision, and cold, very cold tolerant. So, uh... Time to grow you again. But I'm going to be growing you somewhere else. You're going to be christening the new lab. So you're going to be grown in the actual proper lab and not this old lab that needs to get broken down and removed. And in fact, I could do the same for some of the other individuals over here who are uh, mobile. Mm. 
No, don't. Oh, what are you doing? Nutrition, baby food only. Don't use that meat. Put that back. So Wendy, I think, should start death resting in a minute. And then afterwards, we're going to spin up the... Uh... Uh-oh. Jesus. Everyone get the plague? Frosty got the prey. Really? My... Okay. That's... Well, you're going in. You're going to be plagued in a growth vent. Lord. Uh, husk, low, tea saying, midi, steph, sky, cactus. Wow. So, my own people. Midi, low, steph, tea saying, who I just work boosted. Oh, uh, man. Is going to uh, all be bedridden. Uh, which means my mech, my paramedic mech, you are going to have a lot of work, friend. And it looks like a brawler for low. So I'm going to have low at least age up to 16, but probably 18. Because 18 is a more useful age for brawlers. So not only will Wendy be in death rest... Uh, but it, like half of everybody else is now sick too. Um, yeah, it looks like the plague doesn't move at all during, um, Vatcro. So it's not something I'm going to need to care about. I need to set Natsu back to baby food. That I do. So once the first round of plague victims are tended to, we're going to have an ovum extraction in about a day. That's coming up. Smoke pop packs are done. Go for psychite. Refining. If I start to capture um, wasters, I'm going to need psychic refining. Guero, it's uh, your casket is nearly done, so let's go and trigger you to be opened. And then all the other caskets to be broken down for materials. In fact, everything here can be broken down for materials. Nothing is sacred. Wendy, you good? Let's death rest. I like to death rest as close to recent um, raids as possible because it's less likely to get back-to-back -back raids. Certainly not impossible, definitely less likely. So Guero, eat a meal and hop in your new casket. I'm also gonna update the bunker zone. Bunker zone is like the do not go outside zone. To now include the lab area. All right, looks good. Well, unfortunately, this plague is going to put a uh, a strain on our medicine. So I'm going to plant heal root here instead of uh, rice. Because I think that's now going to be a, a thing that we have to consider. Oh, 
Oh, wow. We are really churning through waste packs. I think I started at roughly 300, and we're down to 250. So if I do send some to the Impids, um, we can almost zero out our waste. I would like to hit like an equilibrium of um, waste generated with waste deleted, so I don't have to constantly worry about waste. That would be great. And to Flutie, got a growth moment. So this is your second growth moment, I think? Yes. No, first one. Uh, chemical fascinate. Oh, boy. So to Flutie was... I guess it doesn't really matter to me, because to Flutie was already a gene, a, uh, gene prisoner. So chemical fascination just means that to Flutie is going to be in the prison and going insane. Um, with the lack of drugs. Oh well. Kinda not my problem. How many days for Skyr's Rego Juice? Um, like 30. Definitely into the realm of do not need to care about this for a very, very long time. Let's see. I guessed 30. It is... Uh, 40, 41. They only need go juice once a year, so it's it's not something that needs to be cared about <laughs> most of the time. Uh, we, if we're gonna make low a brawler, I need to make a Xenogerm for low. So I'm gonna snapshot this and then engineer one. It's gonna be a pretty similar Xenogerm to Frosty's Xenogerm. Um, but you're starting at negative five. Got it. So, super fast wound healing, dark vision, awful shooting, awful craft, awful plants, awful art, awful intellectual, awful cook, great melee, Kind. You already have poor intellectual. Oh no, I added awful intellectual. That's that's just an extra minus one. Um, I don't have poor animals in there. No, poor animals. I have two copies of poor animals. I need to sell one of them. Awful art already up there. Yeah, I think that's all that I can add. Poor social. Yeah, I could add a poor social. This looks about right. And uh, this has a metabolic efficiency of plus five, but it's, oh, nearsighted. I can add that as well. I don't uh, I don't need them to see very well because they will be using melee weapons. So this is the low. So I think you'll be dead even. I think you'll be a zero once I'm done with that. If my memory uh, is correct. Because you start with poor shooting and awful shooting. I just made a plus seven. So we're... So two of that plus seven doesn't count because you started with pores. Uh, which means, yeah, you should be zero. No, it won't be plus two. My, my math is infallible. Don't you question Wendy. <laughs> Well, I'm glad I have uh, Fang Face, the paramedic bot. This plague would have been super annoying otherwise. 
And it might be... Well, it's not quite time yet for more egg harvests. But once this plague is resided, I'll, I'll do that. No, Wendy's, Wendy's not great at math. She's, she's good at the biological sciences, but uh, I could definitely get the math wrong. It also doesn't really matter, because that's all the offals I could have added. So whatever the end up number is, I can't do better. So it, it doesn't matter. In other words, make him as cheap to feed as possible is what matters. Which actually, uh, as me realize, I could redesign a Midi and Steph to have um, nearsightedness and the like. So maybe maybe I'll take another pass at Midi and Steph too, because I I have more genes now than I had when I made them. Um. So, once we're done cooking up the... Oh, are we done? Yeah, this is a low xenogerm. So let's make a midi xenogerm. Um, super high wound healing. And I'm going to force kind onto them. So that uh, I don't have to have so many social fights. So, shooting, art, plants, crafting, cook, animals, intellectual, and that's it. And then, great melee. Uh, why is there one point of difference here? What? Hmm. What didn't I add? Oh, poor social. Uh, so let's save this template uh, as brawler. A generic brawler, so I don't have to rethink it. So this is kind of what we throw our generic brawlers. I don't think there's really much else to add to them here. Because most of my generic brawlers come pre-built with uh, reduced pain robust. Oh, strong melee damage. I actually don't have. So Midi won't have strong melee damage, unlike Low and uh, I think Steph. But I haven't scanned that, so um, I wouldn't be able to add it anyway. So there's a mini. And then... Uh, and then I want to make a Steph, too. I'll screenshot that. Because uh, nearsightedness is a plus two, and that's a really good, easy way to, to offset metabolic efficiency. Because nearsightedness doesn't matter to a brawler at all. Not in the least. Right? Accuracy long and medium? Who cares? Who cares? Teddy bears with bear claws attached? Yeah, that's uh, that about sums it up with all this kindness. But it's mostly that just Wendy doesn't want to be bothered having to clear up any stupid infighting. You know? She's all about efficiency. So... Just because they're kind doesn't mean they won't absolutely shred their enemies. So it uh, it it completely serves the purpose that she wants it to serve. So we have about a day and a half left of death resting for Wendy. And then I'm going to try to piss off the impids with a giant uh, pollution... Uh, a pollution attack. So I'm going to start to load those pods with uh, waste. And then to set the fuel for maybe 40 tiles... The other thing I was thinking is Bryzit does have... Bryzit is the non-combat um, mech controller. Bryzit has a, f a little bit extra bandwidth. Um, obviously, Mass has bandwidth too, but um, I could make another cleaner bot and another Fabricor, and I think that's, uh, that's something I want to do here. So... A Fabricor costs a high core in steel. I have both. Oh, you're not assigned to smithing. Well, that's a problem when you're a mechanator. So let's get another Fabricor out. 
And then once that fabric core is done, uh, I will probably want another clean sweeper too. And then that, that third slot, that last space that I have here, um, maybe an aggro hand if I'm going to add another farm at some point. I think that makes the most sense. Plus, certain crops like heel root just take so long for the aggro hands to grow that um, sticking another aggro hand makes sense. So you have a medical emergency because you're plagued. Oh, man, you are straight going to die to that plague. Um, let's give you... Glitter World Meds, because I have not yet scanned what I want to scan out of you. And I need you to survive. I don't know if Sky's going to survive here. It's going to be real tight. Um... I'm gonna move the Glitter World Meds. Wait, I'm not allowed to? Someone's already doing it, maybe? I'm gonna move it closer so it's a quicker tend. I don't really, I, I think the missing l kidney caused most of that damage. All right, Fang Face, where'd you go? So Sky, 10 in 0.3 hours. Oh, you know, you're dead. You're just dead. I don't, you're 97. Um, well, if you're gonna die anyway, I'm gonna rip out your heart. Wait, why are you 10? No, 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 oh, whatever. Bang face is like, oh, well, we gotta 10 that, uh, no, stop feeding him. Ah, uh, you freaking dumb monkey robot. I hate robots sometimes. Yeah, it was so important to tend and feed him. There's no way for me to stop that stupidity. All right, so Sky died. Um, the good news about that is prisoner being killed is something that, like, people enjoy. So. Silver lining. We'll just have to get more uh, hussars to attack me. Time to get a new Huzzar. <laughs> uh, the other thing I could possibly do is for Cactus. No, you already have nearsightedness. You're already at plus five. I don't really need to mess with you any further. Diseased meat? There's no such thing as diseased meat. There's insect meat, but... I have no idea what you mean by diseased meat. You're thinking of mods or something. So here comes the midi gene, and then the step gene. And we have all of the waste packs all ready. So I, I need to make some more chem fuel, but, uh, but yeah, hopefully we piss off some, some impids. It's so cold out that, like, I kind of doubt the impids. You know what? It's actually possible that it's so cold on this map tile that the impids simply can't attack me because it's not appropriate for their body temperature, meaning that I can send them pollution without retaliation because they're tribal, so they can't send pollution back. They don't have transport pods. So it's actually quite possible that that is the case. Um, so here's the brawler gene, and I don't think I need to modify this at all for Steph. Uh, Steph comes pre-built with robust, strong melee damage, reduced pain, so. This is going to be, oops, that's all caps. Steph, nope, and caps. Steph, V3. Going through a lot of iterations, Steph. And I probably want to stagger the comas that my brawlers get put into, so that they're not all in comas at once. Because that sounds bad. So I will do MIDI first. And MIDI is going from a minus three to a plus three. So that's a lot less food. 
Oh, the other thing is actually, let me suspend this because last time I checked, uh, Fangface can't do the implantation surgeries. So that might still be true. But. Oh, you're doing it this time. Look at you. Surprising. All right, so here's the new MIDI. Looks good. Coma for uh, 1.6 days. Uh, I think it's also egg time. So let's go get them eggs. And I'm really hoping we get some viable candidates as a result of this egg extraction. So I don't want to have to be... A... We do have some impids in the prison. But I wouldn't mind pissing off more impids. So I think I have four impids. That's actually a lot of potential chance for good imprint hybrids. And this is the Steph V3 gene. Or oh, I should have done Mark. Because I don't, whatever. The last one was marked. Mark 3. The Steph final, final for real three. And you know what? It's not because there's still a lot of genes that I could potentially scan that would make it not final. So I should start working on this. Well, you know what? I might not work on this farm until you guys vote for it. It's a big enough project that it's going to require more attention than I'm willing to give unless it becomes voted on. Because that's a lot of material. So, let's make sure I didn't skip anyone. Nope, everyone's ovum's been pulled out. Good. So for the impids, I think my best approach is to try to have Guero fertilize them. Because impids have a lot of genes, and Guero would be able to filter those genes more than any other male. Maybe Bryzit too. Maybe I'll split split. I'll have Bryzit fertilize two, Guero fertilize two because the offsprings of them then could breed because Bryzit and Guero are not related. Yeah, they're not related. Oh, Xenogerms um, shouldn't be stored up here. And Wendy now can wake. Let's do it. So Husk and Rorif are the, the pig skin. So Rurif should cross with uh, Bryzit, and Husk. Husk, I could cross with T-Sang or Cactus. To try to make another filtered pigskin. I need more pigskins. Uh, what I need to do is I need to piss off the Federation of uh, Pueco to piss off pigskins to come attack me. Question for you all. What faction should I pollution drop to hope to get a raid from? It's kind of poorly worded, but whatever. Uh, pigskins, impids, Neanderthals. Who else is there? Oh, uh, they're uh, Edekin. Oh, actually, wasters, too. There we go. So 
So, uh, this is the next project. The next project is... Obtain... Extract and gestate more eggs. That was the priority you guys left me with, so uh, so you could pick. God, stop puking. Wendy, you're doing some drudge work here. Deconstructing the urns. I guess it's fine. The hauler bots then can haul this stuff to the stockpile. So, Brazit Guerrero. Let's get you up, and you'll fertilize uh, two of the impid eggs. So, one and two, and then hop back in that casket. Yep, this is your entire life, buddy. Uh, well, this is non-viable, and it also doesn't have horns. This is a trash egg. Uh, and let me open up the gene overlay so you can see what's going on. So the ones on the top left is what I want, and the ones on the top right I may not have. Next one. Uh, this is viable for a slave, but not something I'm interested in either. Viable for a slave because it doesn't have any of the must-not-have genes, right? It doesn't have the weak melee damage or anything like that. But it doesn't have any genes that I want either, so it... So yeah. Um, neither of these eggs are good. All right, we'll try with Brazit then. And this is where the trash egg go. They become sellable, exactly. Or giftable, um, if I want to gift garbage eggs to friends. We are now down to 31 loose tox packs. Dude, that is real, real interesting. That's not a whole lot. I mean, a lot of them are in the pods here to be sent to faction of your choice, but uh, still excited about that. Is the very fast runner, the very fast runner gene is not a boost to melee? It is, but it's not a, it's not. These choices up here are Wendy's personal choices. They're not um, min-maxing. In fact, going min-maxing would have been genetically impossible. There are too many good genes in the gene pool, the germline gene pool, to pick from that if you picked all the ones that would be, like, awesome, there's not enough genes to offset the awesome so that there would never be a viable Wendigo, which is important to realize. Because if you add all of the really good ones and then take all the really bad ones, which would be really hard to to gestate or even find in the gene pool or get lucky or whatever, um, the metabolic efficiency would be below negative five and you would not be able to ever make a candidate. Repull since one and two are close. Um, well, there's still a minute left. Maybe I'll repull, but I'm going to wait that minute. Uh, and controlled mechs because Brazit, in his infinite wisdom, decided to take off his visor. Let's force that on his head. And then you were... Do we have the stiff? We have the low. Okay, uh, you were coming up here to fertilize some eggs. One and two. And then cactus, you're going to fertilize the other two. Rorif and husk. So... Um, this is a non-viable cold weakness and weak immunity are both genes that we want to avoid. So this is garbage. And this one's also garbage for so many reasons. This is one of the most garbage eggs I've seen yet. Uh, because it has one, two, three, four genes that I want to avoid. Yikes. Rise it. I'm disappointed in your genome. Gotta try harder there. 
Alright, so here's Cactus's attempts. And we have got... Um... Two genes I want to avoid, pig voice, pig nose. And strong stomach, but not robust, so more garbage. And this one is very odd. Uh, this one's technically viable as a, um, as like a cannon fodder grunt, but I have a lot of better cannon fodder grunt genes in here. Um, it would be fine to grow this one, but I don't think I'm gonna bother because it's like, it's not special in any way, shape or form. Just kind of meh. Uh, it looks like Impids really did pull ahead. Um, so if we're going to pollution bomb the Impids, I kind of don't think that they're going to return an attack, but I will try. I don't think that they're going to return an attack because I think the likelihood is it's too cold on the map tile for them to retaliate. But we'll see. We'll see. I would also like to, um, to firm up my alliance with the Glitter World Empire. So... Let's go ahead and make this pod first so that I can give them some stuff. Because my relationship with them is uh, faltering. And it could be better. What if we sent... What if we split it? So I could have split it. Uh, the only issue with splitting it like that is uh, they both could show up as breachers. And that would be a problem because they would do a lot of damage to the base and it'd be really difficult to fight two very large breach raids at once sounds like a bad time he's saying any mech You shouldn't be making chem fuel. I'm gonna lower T Sang's components down to 20 again. So that T Sang starts doing corsets. So let's have him start tailoring. So I'm, I'm specifically working on tailoring gifts for the allies. I'll probably send them organs too. So maybe I'll send some organs from Scorpio once uh, we can organ harvest Scorpio and send them a smattering of gifts. And Rorif, your genes fully regrow. I don't think there's actually anything I want to scan off of uh, Rorif, but whatever. I'll just keep scanning. Doesn't hurt. And Scorpio is nearing three, and he'll be corpse exchange sacrificed. The fabric core is being is going to get done just in about eight hours, so I'm going to uh, stick up another giveaway for the fabric core. We're getting two fabric cores. I think that will be really, really nice to have. Look at my lack of rice. Okay, I'm going to turn off the biofuel refinery because we're eating through all of our rice ridiculously quickly. And in fact, Wendy, I'm going to have you uh, grow some. Where'd she go? Man, she's so fast. So Midi is out of coma. So Steph, you are up for your implantation. And you'll be going to a plus four. A plus four from a plus two. Still pretty good. And no worse for wear. Ooh, 
Well, good luck in the raffle. Yeah, I, I have a feeling those impids aren't coming. The other thing I could do is I could uh, go and attack them, but I kind of don't want to attack anyone that's um, within a certain radius of my home because then I can't bait them in with uh, pollution. So it's it's actually kind of negative. What I would really like to do is to have Wendy at some point get uh, get the ability to far skip, but that's been eluding me so far. So Fabricor set to the behind the walls, and the slate blocks are going to be handled by the Fabricor now. So two fabric cores. And then next up, rise it. You are going to go make another cleaner bot. I'm very low on rice at the moment, so I'm going to wait to gestate more eggs until we can catch up with the rice that we need. Ooh, that's nasty. Right in the base. Right in my face. Scorpio, are you three yet? Nope. More mechs, I know, right? I guess uh, mass also has space. For mix. I'm gonna have Mass make a Legionnaire. Uh, hmm. Maybe another Scyther. Uh, maybe I'll have you guys decide. What kind of combat bot should Mass make? Melee or ranged? What do you guys think? Wendy, why are you in a bad mood? Oh, no executions. Don't worry. That little baby's gonna die soon. I could research spaceships in order to activate the reactor to call on enemies. The thing with that, and I've tried to explain um, maybe a hundred times in the stream already, or not this stream, but this series, is it's too cold for humanoids. In RimWorld, there's a concept that humans can only raid in certain temperature circumstances, and this base is simply too cold. That's why I keep getting mechs over and over and over, because humans are not comfortable in negative 40 Celsius, um, and the game won't allow them to show up as raiders. So even if I uh, built a reactor to call on enemies, I'd only be able to use it in the warmest days midsummer. Right now it's December the 12th, so I wouldn't be able to use it in this season at all. And that's actually probably why the Impids didn't attack me. Um, the Impids probably wanted to attack me, having um, massively polluted their base here, but um, because it's... Uh, because it's so cold in my home tile, they never, they never came. Oh, right, the raffle. Uh, Phantom Troop, you are the Fabric Corp. And we're going to do a ranged mech. Sorry about that. So for ranged mechs, I really like Legionaries. So I'm going to, I'm pretty partial to them. So I'm going to have... Him cook up a legionary. Well, impids remember the pollution when it gets warmer? No. It doesn't work like that. Nothing in RimWorld that works like that. I'm going to start putting slag in here too.
Because there's a lot of slag on the map tile. Cool. So additional egg extraction. One of the things I could do... And... Um, yeah, one of the things I could do is I could send Wendy and some raiders over to a neighboring base, uh, attack the base, and try to kidnap um, egg-aged females, and then return from that base back home, um, you know, with those specimens through a shuttle, a Wendy's shuttle. So that's probably what I'll end up doing as well. I'm going to spend a second to um, to remove some of the steel from this facility because this room has burned before and uh, I don't want it to set on fire anymore. I'm tired of that. Hey, we have bison. I need to feed people, so that's a perfect combination. Oh, hey! The impids did show up. Finally. 88 of them. Crazy 88. Uh, they are... Going to be breachers? So... I gotta get ready for this. Lots of food. Yep, uh, so mix. I don't have a zone for them. It's probably too cold to call for aids. I can salvo. If I could get out there quickly, I can salvo them down pretty hard. Why don't you just get yourself outside? I want to get there quickly because um, they don't group up. They don't stay grouped up if you wait. Looks like they're preparing a while. So yeah, I might call down a salvo just to mess with them. And to have them sorted out. Well, no, I take that back. I will do a... Man, I'm not allowed to do anything. It's all on, like, cooldown. Um, looking at this, it wouldn't be terrible for me to mortar them. Thank you for tuning in to The First Wendigo, which originally streamed live on Twitch January 22nd. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Radamot.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Radamot.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch you in next stream or an upcoming episode. Farewell, my fellow Wendigo. 